Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a little versus video between the Ryobi brushless hammer drill and the Bosch brushless hammer drill. Now, in my opinion, both of these are in the same class. And so we are going to see which one prevails at certain tasks. And the uh, one thing that's interesting about Bosch, like I said in a previous video, is that their 6.3 amp hour batteries is a lot smaller than all of the other brands, which is good the, to have a big... Uh, high out amped hour battery in a compact form which that's awesome all right so the ryobi is my own p251 18 volt system half inch metal chuck uh, speed one it is zero to 410 rpms on speed two it is zero to 1800 rpms i do not know what the torque is i believe uh i'll put the torque in right now and so yes uh this thing is uh awesome it has a 24 point chuck and then the three uh settings on top Six amp hour battery, battery is full. We are gonna use only one battery each on this test. All right, and so the Bosch, the specs are underneath the base. The model number for this is HTH183, half inch metal chuck. Uh, two speed settings, speed one is zero to 480 RPMs. On speed two, it is zero to 2100 uh, RPMs. And I'll put the torque for this in right now. So the battery is full on the Bosch 6.3 amp hour as well. That's speed two. That is speed two for the Ryobi. So let's see which one will prevail on this test. When you're working, wear gloves and safety glasses. All right, so for this test, we are gonna try out the first uh, self-driving spade bits. We're going to try a uh, 13 16 inch first. Then we are going to move over to the 1 inch. All right, so uh, battery is full. Speed 2. All right, so let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Time. We'll do one more. Done. Drill. Yep. Ready. Go. I, don't, I do not know why it's cutting out like that. That's interesting. I do not know why the Bosch was cutting out like that. That's weird. Alright, so speed two. It's on drill. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Oh, we gotta redo that. We gotta redo that. That fed into the other hole. All right, so ready, go. All right, let's move up to the one inch. All right, so uh, speed drill, speed two. All right, so ready, go. All right. Time. Let's do one more. Oh, ready, go. All right. Ooh, that, that broke that half. That broke that off. All right, it is the Ryobi's turn for the one inch uh, self-driving spade bit. All right, so clear everything. All right, so ready, go. Time, we'll do one more. Ready, go. Time. All right, so we are gonna move up to the three quarter inch drill bit. This is a this is a tough one to do. All right, so ready, go. All right, so ready, go. Oh, and let's redo that test. I guess I didn't tighten it enough. 
All right, so ready, go. You can do it. There we go. There we go. Now it was, it was, t sorry, use your air. I did not tighten that. Alrighty, so, that's the wrong size, isn't it? Yes, that's the wrong size. Ready, go. Time. All right, let's do one for Ryobi. Ready, go. Time. All right, let's do one more for Bosch. All right, so ready, go. Bosch does seem a bit quieter. It's a Ryobi's turn. So ready, go. Time. All right, now what we are gonna do is we are gonna take them both out at once. We're gonna do Bosch first. All right, so ready, go. Did it with ease. All right, Ryobi's turn. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now I'm wondering if these can do some lags. All right, so first we are gonna do the Bosch. Battery is still full. I'm gonna have this wedged in between my legs to keep from slipping. All right, so, ready, go. Oh, I was hoping it would. Ready, go. Oh, that was reverse, sorry. Ready, go. All right, it requires speed one. First, we're gonna try a speed two, see if it can do it. All right, so, Ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. Hey, I, I'm impressed that these can do this. All right, so first we got on speed two. Trying to drill. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. Ready, go. Time. Not bad. I'm impressed that they were able to do it. Alrighty, so we are gonna start off with the uh, Bosch. We're, we're gonna do the one and a half inch self-driving spade bit. We're gonna do speed one first. All right, so ready, go. It is on there. It is on there. All right, slowly take it out. All right, so we're gonna do speed one. It's on drill. The battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. It's on drill, speed one. I don't think either of these uh, drills, uh, these hammer drills could do this on speed two. So we're just gonna use speed one. All right. You know what, let's, yeah, I'll just use speed one for now. Let's do a test soon. All right, so ready, go. Yep, we're gonna have to redo that. An entire side, correct. 
All right, we got a fresh piece of uh, six by six right here. Ready, go. Time. Let's slowly take it out. It's good. Clear everything. All right, so ready, go. Fantastic. All right, slowly take it out. All right, so when it comes to these two tools, these tools are evenly matched. All right, so both of them struggled to do the same tasks when it comes to the stress test. And uh, the last thing to do is to take a temperature reading on which one ran cooler. Oh, 70, there it is. 79 degrees is the temperature for the Ryobi and 86 degrees is for the Bosch. All right, so the Ryobi ran a little bit cooler for the tasks at hand, but uh, but yeah, both the, like I said, both of these tools are pretty much in the same class and this just depends on which battery system you're in, on which one you decided to get. Uh, further tests will be uh, conducted with different batteries. Now remember this is 6 amp hour versus 6.3. I do not know what the, re the results are. I find that out during the editing of the video. And so yes, yeah, so both of them, since both of them perform the same, almost, I really can't tell uh, which is better offhand. So. So for this video, that's pretty much it. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.